What's up guys, Jules here, and so let's, so I don't know if I've told you this already, but I am, I was thinking about a fish, but I kind of changed my mind to a hamster, and now I am preparing for a hamster, and I am DIYing most of my stuff, so like pretty much all, the, I have a bunch of hideaways DIY'd with popsicle sticks. And, like, they're literally, it's just popsicle sticks and, um, hot glue. That's all it is. I trust hot glue a lot. It works very well for me. So, I will be going over, like, w everything that I built, um, in those videos and stuff like that. But, today I am doing, like, a different one. I am making, or I'm making a hamster thing. I don't know how well it's gonna turn out. But... Like everything else on my channel is real, so why not add another one? Um, okay, so simply all I have is a piece of or a piece of cardboard. It really doesn't matter like what size in particular, and then I used a Easter basket for this, and I used a heart cup for the two ears. And you can make it as big or as small as you want. I made it pretty small because I'm thinking of getting either like a dwarf or something like that. So mine's not going to be super big. So all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cutting out this and then that, that, and then that. So I'm not going to be cutting out this part or that because it's part of the thing. And then... Um, I'm going to be tracing it back on here so it's the same. So I'm going to do that quickly and show you the results once I'm done. Okay, if you are using one of these, please do not go like this over your leg with it and stab it through. That is how you puncture your skin. So, uh, just a safety tip there. <laughs> Alright, you guys, I got the first one cut out. It's a little rough. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go take and sand the edges down a little bit. But, so I'm going to see how that works. I'll be right back. Yeah, so just take and sand. Or I'm just going to take and sand down all the edges. So this one's pretty smooth. I'm going to sand down a little more. I'm going to fix this one because this one looks really bad. <laughs> okay, so I quickly sanded down the edges. And I'm just going to cut out the other one and just sand them down. Okay, you guys. I got them both cut out. And now I'm just going to try and find some extra cardboard and do the next step. Okay, so you guys, I, um, just, oh gosh, now there's something on the Okay, so I just grabbed a piece of paper, I started rolling it, and then what I'm going to be doing is, depending on how big this thing is, which I don't know, and how tall you want it, this is going to be the height of underneath the hamster hook. So now you can get a little bit of better view, is I'll have it, like, right right about like here-ish and I'm gonna have that much space for him for height wise and so I'm still trying to figure out where my door is gonna be if I want it like at the bottom here or if I do want it like up here somewhere which I may end up doing it right there because it probably might be easier sound on like, it's on sorry that was my brother um, so I'm going to take and hot glue these two pieces together, and I will show you once I'm done. Okay, so I got this on the bottom. Um, I might change something here. So, you guys can use this for whatever you want. You can use it as a hideaway or not. But, like, I'm going to keep doing this. But I don't know if I want to add the bottom. Where's the bottom? I lost the bottom. Anyway. Never mind. Okay. I don't know if I want to use the bottom. Because if I have it here and it's always going to be in there, I don't want it to like act use the bathroom in it. And then me having to throw the whole thing away. So I don't think I'm going to be using the bottom. I'm sorry. You guys can use it if you want. Like, this still works. It even, like, if you want to have it where you can put something in here too for it, go ahead. Um, but, like, I don't necessarily know if I want to. Just because it's going to be really annoying to clean it up. 
But since you did cut this out and probably sanded it down better than I did, as you can see, um, you can go ahead, you can draw a face on it, color it, whatever you want to do, and hang it up somewhere on your wall or something. Or I have this on this side. If I just want to hang this up, I can. So it's not complete waste because you can do more than that. Or if you have, like, I don't know, whatever you keep your hamster in, I'm going to be using a bin cage. If I really want, I can just put this on there and, like, color it and decorate it. But, um, so if you want that, if you want to use it as a box or whatever, go ahead. Um, otherwise, I'm going to be keep going around the ears. I don't, I think this is going to be where the thing is and it's just going to go out. And then I'm going to keep it around here. So then it can sink into the bedding a little bit. And it can also burrow if it really wants to. So I think that's what I'm going to do. By the way, make sure you're using non-toxic hot glue. In case it does eat some of it. Which is not good. And try and pluck all the strings off as you can. Um, as you can see, I did that. There's a, like a couple hot glue spots I need to pluck off. But otherwise, it's good. So I'm going to keep going around the ears. I'm going to stop here and go around this ear. So I'll be right back. Okay, you guys. So I also have a part that you can fix. So I kind of did this. I'm not completed yet, obviously. But I cut more of an opening. I'm going to be fixing it right here, though. But it, let's say, like, some of your people, like, it, there's bends here. Um, like, that part wasn't a problem for me. But one of the ears bent. So if you do have popsicle sticks, just uh, glue one so then like it doesn't bend anymore. And so I hot glued it all the way around. There is a, like a little overlap, but I kind of wanted that. So then if I want, it can just sink into the bedding and it can burrow in and be all cozy and stuff. Just because I thought like this is going to be really hard to clean. Like if I want, I could put it on there. And I could also take it back off. I would have to see some parts down. Because it fits. It's just like... Annoying. Sorry, that's my brother. So I'm just going to fix this part up here. And I'll be right back. So I think what I'm just going to do is I kind of did that. I'm just going to glue a little shell. This may not look the best, but remember it's made out of cardboard and it may not last very long because you know hamsters love to chew things. Well, you should. Um, so I think I'm just going to glue a little shell here and then I'm going to say this project is done. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm done and this is the end product. I just glued a few shells on there. It's kind of hard to see helping at all I can't tell there. I just glued a few shells on there just add a little bit more decor decoration so this is the end product I mean the inside of the one's bad for me but I mean the hamster's just going in there I mean this is the only thing that like I could fix but like it doesn't bug me that much because then it's not completely dark in there um, so yeah this is this project and I am going to make it, be making another video on all the hamster supplies I have made myself. And if you really want me to show you how to make them, I can do that. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!